Welcome back. In Aden, the second medical camp for mental illnesses was held. The camp aims to help patients cope with the war trauma. The following report gives more details. As the economic health and living conditions in Yemen deteriorate, especially for patients who suffer from mental disorders, the interim capital of Adan today witnessed the inauguration of the second free medical camp for mental and neurological conditions. This camp is held by the National Program for Mental and Neurological Health in cooperation with the Teaching Psychiatric and Neurological Diseases Hospital. This camp was inaugurated at the time when the Yemeni population was suffering from an influx of mental conditions. We would like to thank pharmaceutical companies for their contribution, especially considering how expensive medical tends to be. Among those who arrived at the medical camp to benefit from the free services is Um Ziyad, an elderly woman whose son was diagnosed over four years ago. My son is sick. He has been suffering from excess electricity in the body for four or five years. His condition has not responded to any medicine. On top of that, I suffer from a cardiovascular disease and I need about $6,000 for treatment. The camp will operate and provide its humanitarian services for patients for a total of five days, offering inspection services and providing free medication to patients, especially expensive medications that families cannot afford. Patients from all govern rates are eligible for free medicine. The majority of people cannot afford medicines because of poor economic conditions. We established this camp to assist persons suffering from mental and psychiatric diseases, and we seek to alleviate people's struggles. We've set up camps in the past, and this won't be our last one. It is our duty to support patients who struggle with psychological and mental disorders, as well as other ailments such as high cholesterol and pressure and cardiovascular diseases. The staff and those in charge of this camp, which is gaining more and more attention every day, offer a variety of medical services and humanitarian endeavors. This makes it necessary for the relevant authorities, owners of pharmaceutical companies, and philanthropists to work together and continue supporting such initiatives.